Bolillo. Who the fuck that? Isn't that just a type of food? Shout out Bolillo. <laughs> Nostalgia. But. What is nostalgia? If you guys haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and drop a like if you want to see more content like this. If you didn't know, subscribing does help the channel out a lot. And dropping a like lets me know that you guys did enjoy the video. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Roblox has many different types of games, including some that hold a lot of memories dear to us, especially for it being such an old platform. Some of the most nostalgic games that I can recall are Natural Disasters. Natural Disasters Survival and Survive the Disasters count as one right now, just because both are very similar and nostalgic to many people that have first started playing Roblox. I'd say these are very nostalgic, just because I remember it being one of my first ever games I played on Roblox, and this says a lot. Natural Disasters is a classic Roblox experience because it was made in 2008, yeah. which is already almost 17 years. This game is older than most of the fanbase and my grandma. The reason why a lot of people enjoyed it was because it low-key didn't make people look at each other and come huh? up with the quote-unquote strategies on how to survive the disasters. Overall, I'd say the way the game is doing right now, it's doing well because a lot of people still come by and play. Look what is going on. Oh, oh yeah, let's run it. Dang, bruh. This is so nostalgic. Oh my god, bruh. I remember like the classic house. Is this a classic house? I have the great balloon, baby. Yeah, I'm unstoppable, baby. Volcanic eruption. Get away from the volcano. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, chat. Yo, who is this, bruh? Freddy Cougar? Oh my lord. Oh, hell no. Also, back then, you didn't have the, the, what's it called, headless and... I don't know what that is, bro. Legless. What is that thing called? Oh. No! Overall, in my opinion, Natural Disasters is a really good game. It was super enjoyable. You can always play it with friends. It's a good time, and you've never seen anything like pay to win. Back then, it was just like, oh, get the green balloon. But it's never like something like, oh, you get this, and you're always going to win. It's not. So I really appreciate the people from Natural Disasters keeping it simple and just doing what they do did good game blocks fruits you already know we had to do blocks fruits what started as a simple rpg game ended up becoming one of roblox's most popular games in the world the game started off with a first seed and a couple of fruits and as the time passed the more fruits and seeds were added what made this game special was that it represented one piece and it was also one of the first good anime type games other games were created such as one piece legendary and unlike blocks fruits one piece legendary was horrendous bro oh, hell no. I'd say the only thing that could have killed the game was the dev team taking forever on updates, but the game is still at an all-time high of players. In my opinion, and the coolest part of Bloxwoods is that it is such a huge game with three Cs and there are endless possibilities. We're about to fight our enemies. I see a big dude, a big yellow <laughs> Lego dude. No, no, no. We're gonna go after those guys. Can we hit him? Oh yeah, we can. Oh yeah. Oh hell no! Move! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go, chat! Let's go! Wait, 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 wait! Mostly what you do in Blocks Fruits is either fight NPCs or just PvP with people. That's why it's pretty short, but for the most part, the game got better throughout the years, which is awesome. The thing is, they really lag with their updates, which is also really bad. I don't get why they don't contract people or like get better devs or get more devs or whatever just to put out more updates for the game. I don't get it, bro. Use your money for good, bro. Make your game better. Flood Escape 1. Flood Escape 1 is a parkour adventure game that takes place in a facility, and the goal is to escape the flooding by going through parkour and pressing multiple buttons. And finally, after you have to crack a code before you can truly escape the flood. The reason why it's so nostalgic is because it takes you back to simpler times in Roblox, and it was a game that you could team up with friends to help one another solve panic inducing puzzles. Oh my god, bro. This is so nostalgic. This takes me back when, like, I couldn't swim. <laughs> to begin playing, head over to the multiplayer facility in the lobby. Ooh, there's more modes now? Ooh, there's training? Yo, that's cool. I just lost my door. Ho, ho, ho. Round beginning. Round one. Fight. Wait, wait, wait. What? 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 <gasps> it opened it. It opened it. Oh, okay, okay. I get it. <laughs> no! Here we go, chat. Here we go. That's a W. Okay, go through. Hey, yo, what? Wait, 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 chat, chat, chat. <gasps> I would have. Bro! Third time's a charm, am I right, chat? Look at this cheater, bro. Oh, no, nah, bro. Bro, finish the obby with a speed coil and everything. Oh, no. Okay, we're actually cucked. No, we're not. No, we're not. Lock in, lock in. Okay, he went up here. Okay, okay. Light work, light work, no reaction. Easy. Okay, okay. Okay. Room two. 
What? There's more than one room? Oh, now we're cooked, bruh. How much rooms are there? Three? Danger, danger. <gasps> it's starting to flood. Oh, no. Oh, oh, okay, I see. Guys, did we complete it? Final room? Oh, my God. Here we go, chat. You have escaped. Yes, let's go. Overall, playing Flood Escape 1 was a good throwback to the past. It shows how Roblox was so simple back then, which now everything is just pay to win. And also, people don't have as much fun. Everybody has to be like, oh, it's boring. And this would have satisfied you as a kid back then. Stop It Slender. Burger King Club Lettuce. Stop It Slender, one of the earliest, most popular creepy pasta games made on Roblox in 2010. The game came from the inspiration of Slender Man, which now allows players in Roblox to experience these jump scares firsthand. The main objective, obviously the same as Slender Man, is that the players have to stick together with limited vision in order to find all the notes needed to pass the game all while being chased and threatened by slender man everything endured in the game makes it all a good unselling experience overall stop it slender is a classic roblox horror game and can always be a good first experience for anybody wanting to play a scary game for the first time i heard this game is really scary ah! You are slender? I don't know what I'm doing! You know what I'm doing? Ah! Ah! Press Q to become invisible Dun, 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 dun. Guys, where are you? Where are you? Page is zero. Ah, they got zero pages. Dang, the map is big. Okay, that's that's what's up. Citizens remaining. Oh, that's only one citizen? Oh, nah, bro, we're cooked. Oh, that's him. How do I get him? How do I get him? Did he go down here? Oh, yeah, he did. He did. I got him. <laughs> <laughs> What is this, bro? Dang, bro, we're so damn slow, though. Spam it, spam it, spam it. He's at 64%. I think, okay, I think I understand. So when he's at zero, he dies. 47%, 46. Uh, uh, gotcha, bitch. Yes. Five, four, three, two. Yeah. Honestly, that's a cool, creepy game. Honestly, the game was really slow for me. I feel like if they updated it and made it way faster, like, to trap somebody or, like, new animations to grab somebody or something like that, it would have been way better. But I feel like this is targeted towards, like, seven-year-olds or something because, bro, this was not scary at all. The only scary part of this game was the graphics and the way that it was so slow, bro. Like, why does one run last, like, 30 minutes, bro? That makes no sense. Weightlifting Simulator 3. Weightlifting Simulator 3 was a game created to simulate the experience of being Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Steve, <laughs> Shrek, and even SpongeBob. <laughs> Nah, but really, the game is cool because oh it's like being God. at the gym. Yo. Well, well, kinda, not really. You can use the treadmills for speed, weights for strength, and even go into brawls with other people for stat points. Yeah. The game is basically a race to see who can become the strongest and get the biggest. And the most swole sigma race. I just realized there's a crazy story behind this. Basically, this one's not the official one. There was an official one, but it was deleted because apparently the creator was known for scamming people. What? Now we only have strong man. Starting off as a small bean, bro. I need some muscles. Let's run it. I'm a tapping legend. Hey, yo, what the fuck? What is this? Rock, paper, scissors? You know what? Let's go punch some people. Let's play punchies, dude. Let's play punchies. Let's play punchy. Okay, you may be bigger than me, but I could take you out with all this muscle for real. Let's do it. What's up, dude? I heard you talking about my mama. Stop being invisible, dude. Time to take you out, gang. Where you going? He's scared, bro. Time to get fit. Do -do -do -do. It's the fun. Let's start running. Get that fitness in. Speed nine. What you looking at, little shrimp? There you go, little shrimp. Get out. Oh. Ah. Find me, son. Get out. Wait Sim was one of the first ever games I tried on Roblox and it had me hooked. One time I was at a friend's party late at night and they were all like, bro, we're bored. You know what? Let's try Roblox for the fun of it, for the giggles, for the funnies, you know? And we played it and we were all like, damn, that is so addicting. So I really love Wait Sim. It is a really good game. I wish they brought back the original one. I know there's like muscle legends. Bro, what is that? Call it weightlifting sim again, please, bro. Work at a pizza place. Work at a pizza place is nostalgic just as the simple fact that it was probably most kids' first ever job. With the responsibility of either cashiering to customers that can literally look like you making oh pizzas that honestly don't even look like pizzas to becoming a manager with responsibilities such as paying <laughs> taxes the game overall was another good way of showing roblox's simplicity this game brings back so much memories i used to stay up with a friend trying to buy the next upgrade for the house trying to get by when the manager was like get back to work get back to work I'm ready, bro. I'm ready. I'm gonna be cashier. Dang, bro. I'm rich already. Yes, sir. What's up, bro? Get back to work. 
What is this? Oh no, I'm gonna have to call my customer. Yes, hello? Sorry about that. Um, actually, I'm stuck at the beach and I can't make it. No matter what, Krusty Krabs! Pizza is the pizza, yeah! All right, guys, we're here. Let's get this money. This looks delicious. Thank you. Man, be quiet, bro. Where's my tip? I did not walk all the way from goddamn Pizza Hut to deliver your pizza for a $1 tip. I need $50. We are ready for free real estate. <gasps> oh my god! It's so beautiful! What? I'm bold! This is another game that hits home for me. I used to play it all the time. Stayed up really late at night just to grind a few coins, bro, to try and upgrade the house and stuff. Just talking about, like, the most random things while making pizzas and also being a cashier and talking smack oh! to these random people that felt so entitled when you misclicked the wrong thing on the goddamn register. Diddy City. I mean, Meep City. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I would say Meep City is a really nostalgic game, but not the old Meep City. I would go for the new one, just because of all the controversy that led to the game's downfall. Basically, back then the game added parties and it, uh, it, uh, uh oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, bro. It became such a freak show. It added popularity, but the bad thing is that it also added more e-dating in the game, which, well, I mean, that's not a good thing, man. It got so bad that Roblox was about to ban the whole game, which led to the owner of Meep City, Alex Neutron, to finally do something about it and remove parties, which led to the game's demise. Oh my god. Here we go. Here we go, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, where's the e-daters? Morph into a kid. No! I don't want to. I don't want to, bro. You gonna do to that thing, man? Yeah, they better tune in. They better tune in. These little icons are sick. Good stuff, Meep City. But not good stuff. You a man? Let's check out school, bro. Four thinking kind should be having e daters. Oh no! There's freaking e daters everywhere! E daters, e daters, e daters, e daters. I can't take this no more. Good boys. What? Yo, that's a sub. Thank you, Hermoso. I swear to God. Father, please. They don't know what they're doing, Father. Father, please, bro, let them repent against their sins, father. There's nothing I can truly say about Diddy City. I'm just really glad it's not as popping and there's no more Diddy parties everywhere. I just wish the game got taken down for real, though. The normal elevator. Basically, the game before Regret Elevator and all the different elevator games, such as horror elevator games like Insane Elevator. It was an iconic piece of Roblox due to its randomness and its quirky sense of humor. It was a simple yet creative and full of fun interactions type of early Roblox game. The nostalgia comes from the game being so simple and not as intense as these new games. It was more of being goofy and having fun with your friends. Yo, who was this, bro? God damn. Okay. Hold up. Are we all gonna die? No. No, please. No. Who's this big head on the beep? All right, cool. There's cows with a moo. Damn, we just kick a boom. <laughs> all right, let's shoot this. Why was that actually so close? Hey, like LeBron James. LeBron Jahama's hairline, bro. LeBron Jahama's hairline. Ooh. <laughs> what is going on here? Car Puff Girls? Are they gonna kill us? <laughs> Somebody fell. They're hitting the goddamn. Uh, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Who is this? Oh my, oh my god, god, bro. Goddamn. Nickel pick. Bro, what? Do the Harlem shake. Mm -mm. Is that the thing from the thumbnail? What is going on, chat? Oh, oh my god, guys. <laughs> To this day, the normal elevator on Roblox has made an impact on games such as Regret Evader. And I love Regret Evader. It's a good game. It's obviously that it was inspired by the normal elevator. Super simple, good simplicity, good times back then. No drama, no nothing, no pay to win. It's a good game. Death Run. It was a really popular competitive obstacle game. Death Run was a really good game just because of the thrill you got when you were either going to be a runner, running away from the killer, or the killer ready to set traps and take down the runners. This game was highly visited until the owner announced he wasn't going to keep updating the game anymore. It's sad to see a lot of big games that were once thriving in players, which are not their lowest of zero people playing. <coughs> There's only 43 people playing. Uh. I haven't played this in a while, but this does take me back to the old Roblox times. I used to play this game all the time, bro. Like, let's go, chat. It's shit jungle. Okay. Temple run. <laughs> Are we getting chased by P. Diddy? What? Oh, my God, bro. What is it? Bro, God damn, bro. She's having a seizure. All right, let's go, chat. Let's run it. Oh, yeah, baby. Who are we getting chased by? P. Diddy? I oh, here we go. Is this as fast as we go, bro? What is going on? Ooh, we're getting some free coins here, baby. Yes, sir, bro. Oh. Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> Mom, stop playing. Give me some money. <laughs> I suck at this game, dude. All right, let's run it. Let's run it. Yup. 
Dude. Yeah, baby. Frick the coins. I'm trying to get to the end, bro. The end is the goal. If you already know. <laughs> Can I go around it? Wow. Back to the lobby. Overall, it's a really good game, though. I can see myself playing this with other friends. That would be so funny, bro, being the killer. Going, yay. <laughs> this is so nostalgic, though. It does really take me to the old times. I did used to play this game a lot back then. Overall, Death Run is a really good game. It's super enjoyable, and you can still play it to this day. It is still up, and there are a few hundred people sometimes. Like, 200 max. <laughs> And honestly, it's like I said, it's really enjoyable. So grab your friends and go play that game for real, bro. Go give it more people. Go have some fun. Get off of RNGs, bro. Go have some actual fun. Relive your memories. Stop gambling, bro. Prison Life and Jailbreak, but the old Jailbreak. Both games are in the same category because they are both prison escape games. Out of the two games, Jailbreak is still played till this day, but the only thing is that it died because of the new robbery system. It used to be as simple as every robbery opening up individually, and now they each open up in sets of three. In conclusion, it used to be way easier to make money, and it was also more convenient. Prison Life's lack of updates also ended up killing the game. We're taking a throw through jailbreak. I'm gonna be police. I don't wanna be no police, bro. I'm gonna be a criminal. You already know, boy. Yes, sir. What's up, girl? Oh my god, bro. Why she stink? Alright, first of all, we have to get out of jail. Alright, guys, don't tell anybody, but I'm about to break out of jail. Shh. Ooh, okay. Uh oh. Everybody follow me. Chat, I think I'm here, chat. Oh yeah. We are out of prison, chat. We made it. Let's go. Oh hell yeah, boy. The new robbery system sucks. I haven't really played this game in a minute, but there's a gun store right here. Let's pull up. There ain't no dirty party like the dirty party. Bro, what are you talking about, man? You need a game pass. Pay to win, bro. This one's free? Oh yeah, baby. Like if you're a broke boy, just say something. Is that the police? Oh my god, it's the police. Dude. No, 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 no. I need it. Wait, what? That's not where we can rob? Bro, that was them. <gasps> uh oh. We're in trouble. We got away. Oh, what damn. the hell? Juice? Oh my, I gotta get out of jail again. Oh, oh my god. Grab briefcase. Oh, heck yeah, bro. Grab phone. Heck yeah. Well, guys, this is my first robbery. Let's do it. Successful, baby. Successful. Take your bags to the criminal base collector. <gasps> is that the police? Oh. I hate this game, bro. Overall, Jailbreak is a really good game. The only thing is, like I said, the new robbery system. It is so booty, bro. Tell me why every, like, how long is it? I don't even know, bro. But it only opens up, like, three to four places. Like, the best players get on this goddamn jet and go over there, and they give nobody a chance, bro. They go with, like, a helicopter car type thing. You got that pay to win, bro. Play something else. Roblox High School. One of the first really popular high school role-playing games. How is huh? that even possible? Role-playing high schoolers when most of these skilled Rizzlers were, like, two when this game was released. Aw, oh, hell. People love playing the game because of the many activities you could do along with your friends, such as the old season events which added a lot of hype to the game and something to look forward to in the game you were able to obtain gears by saving up your money by fishing loyalty points and obviously playing the game earning gears meant you were able to have special items such as bikes event items speed coils and the best thing in the game the yeah. boom box the boom box was used to put any audios you wanted to listen to and nowadays in roblox you can't even put anything that's copyright the audios were very beneficial to the game because you were able to party at the club red not only were those activities that made the game very popular but it was also way more popular than brookhaven and adopt me at the time roblox high school legacy Oh snap. Jelly login reward. Loyalty points. <gasps> let's go. Ooh, that's cool, bro. Skateboard? <gasps> Yo, I'm skating in the class. Yeah. What should I get? Mm, I'm gonna get pizza. Pizza! Pizza! <laughs> Yummy. Glizzy. Mm, glizzy. Hey yo. Hey yo. You're a good man, aren't you, Morgan? Hey man, be quiet. You be quiet. You be quiet. Oh, you thank you. So that I'm new to the school. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro's try hard in role playing, bro. That's crazy. Teacher, teacher, can we have Skibbity slicers? Why are you crying? I would play this again, bro. It's pretty funny. It's about to be lit. It's so empty. It used to be so full. <laughs> Club Red is not Club Red no more. Not a lot of people are in here. Nobody really plays the classics no more. Oh my god, bro. Times have changed in Roblox. People just want to eat day. Have eat kitten. Roblox used to be such a simple platform. It is so sad to see a change, you know? <coughs> 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 <coughs>
This used to be such an innocent time for people back then. <laughs> Bee Swarm. Once I started Bee Swarm, I just couldn't stop. It was such a fun game. It was so addicting. I would spend more time on Bee Swarm than I'd probably spend time with friends. Not even gonna lie with you, bro. I love Bee Swarm. Unlike right now, back then the bees in Bee Swarm weren't as beneficial as they are right now. What I mean is back then they didn't have levels, which meant they weren't as powerful as they can get right now. Star treats, event bees, mythics, and even gifted bees weren't a thing yet, which really changes the game, especially because gifted bees meant you were able to create hive bonuses and overpowered hives for grinding. Out of most games from these lists, the new version of the game is actually way better with just way less people. Tutorial, welcome. Welcome to Bee Swarm Simulator. Let's go into our little hive real quick. We've got a basic egg. What's with all that snow? Is it summer, right? This place gets weirder every time I visit. <laughs> Even he knows the lore, bruh. Ooh, that's cool. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, my container is full, guys. Let's go back. Where my be at? Hurry up, boy. Hey, honey, honey. <gasps> we're close. We're close, chat. Okay, let's convert. We could get balls. Let's go. Ooh, this is where we get our eggs. Yeah, baby. Guys, please hope it's something good. Because if it's not, it's going to be booty. <laughs> let's start, Jelly. Let's see what we get. Oh, my God. Wow. Beast Worm will always be one of the best games on Roblox from the beginning to whenever is the end. The game will always be epic and it will always be in our hearts. Unless on it lag again, hell no, I'm out of here. Gambling Sim 1, I mean Pet Sim 1. Pet Sim 1 is one of the most nostalgic games in my opinion because it was one of the first popular pet based games. As innocent as a pet game can sound like, there's a whole lot of dark secrets behind the simulator. From the simple fact that a Titanic plushie costs 250 hey, to big games giving explorers one out of one Titanics. Huh? Big Games is one of the greediest companies that we know of till this day. Wait, what are these things? Hats for your pets? <gasps> these are the pets. How much money do I have? Oh, nice. I have one penny. Can't believe this game's still here. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bruh. We just found Queso and Pets in one. Anyway, bruh, let's start collecting some money. Go, bruh. Give me that money, boy. Ah! Oh, I forgot. Somebody gave me some good pets. Sunshine. Bro's name is Sunshine. Oh. Nah, we're just gonna, nah, we're not gonna put him put him back, bro. I will make sure to like and subscribe. Uh. God damn, bro! Okay, so shut the earth, bro. Well, you know, since I'm rich now, we're going to the next area. Four hundred thousand coins, like guys. This is light work. Oh, <laughs> <gasps> that's a big chest. Oh uh, my uh. lord. Let's go. Oh my god. I just got 2 billion coins. Guys, we are officially done with the first part of Pet Sim 1. Pet Sim 1 is the most boring <laughs> simulator ever. Unless you have a lot of money, a lot of money, a real life to actually waste on this game, this game is whack. Has it changed over the years? No, it hasn't, bro. It's still the same gambling pay-to-win simulator that barely people even play anymore. Broken Bones, a super simple game with ragdoll physics where the purpose is to inflict the most damage to yourself in order to make some smula. The more bones you break, the better your pay is and therefore the more stuff you can buy to get higher in the map and break even more bones. A simple yet super fun objective in the game, which ends up being ours of fun. Apparently, Broken Bones 1 was taken down. I don't know why, but... But apparently there's a goddamn Broken Bones 5 already. They couldn't afford a better thing. What was that? Jetpack? What? <laughs> Damn! Oh, can I still use it? Oh, that's it. That's it. Now nah, we moving. We moving. We moving, baby. <laughs> How much bones did I break? That's actually cool, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my God. Ah! Straight up to the head. Ah! Straight to the, straight to the face, straight to the face. Oh. Balloon equip? Oh, hell yeah. Three, two, god damn it. Broken Bones is one of the best games that I have ever played, especially at the very beginning of Roblox. I started off with super simple games in Roblox, and Broken Bones was one of my top favorites, and I barely played it too at the beginning. I'm glad a couple people still pop into the game and play. Finally, Blocks Hunt. This game was very well known in the early community, and was known for being one of the best hide-and-seek type games. Jump in the game, load up, and either be a seeker looking for the props, or be a runner and turn into a prop trying to run away from the seekers. So what can I become? Oh, you hide as a box? Okay. What else can I hide as? Oh, I can hide as a table. Oh, yo, I'm a walking table. Should I be a chair? Guys, I think that's good. Shh. Seekers will not be released into the map. Or should we walk around? Let's see. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey, oh, no, they're so close. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're cut, we're cut. Uh-oh, I'm cut. 
Oh my god. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Uh oh. I'm so cut. No. What is this? Parkour? Let's do it, chat. Let's do it. Yay. Oh, I could be a trash can. All right, where are we gonna hide? Where are we gonna hide? So it won't look sussy just like this. There you go. They know, bro. They know already. What's wrong with y'all? What's wrong with y'all? God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Just to let y'all know, these were just some of the games that I chose. There are so many great games on Roblox across all the platform, across all the years. These are just some of my top favorites or some cool games that I thought were awesome, epic, you know, evolving, whack, disgusting. I think the most important lesson that we can all get from this whole video in general or Roblox in general is that I don't think the games are getting boring. I think we're just all growing up. It's called maturing, growing up, having a different taste in other games, not just Roblox. It's not always about Roblox. It's about having having a good time either way i hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys got some laughs some facts about some games that you didn't know of and yeah that's gonna conclude this video i will see y'all in the next one